I would say um, continuous diagnostics and mitigation. Mm -hmm. um, for years and years and years, um, the government has always been out there trying to procure and deploy security on its own. Mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah. and what I like to say is uh, we were like lone zebras out on the Serengeti. Okay. Right? There are no good outcomes for lone zebras right. on the Seren <laughs> Serengeti. Very good point. Like it. it's all bad. So, so CDM was an opportunity. <clears throat> Congress funded it. The White House is fully supportive. It was, uh, this is the opportunity for us to really say at the enterprise level, how do we get the proper tools in place? Uh, the idea that we can actually bring in services, managed services, to get an enterprise look. <coughs> DHS, in particular, was set up in 2002. Right. Incredibly diverse mission. We have, we have things like Secret Service, we have Coast Guard, we have FEMA. Right. All yada, with yada, different yada. security requirements. And all different security products. Mm -hmm. So CDM, for me, was an epiphany. I have the opportunity, a once-in-a-lifetime chance, to take an incredibly heterogeneous environment and get to homogeneity, and that's huge for me. So when we talk about the homo homogeneity, what we're talking about, at least, at least what I was saying was, while I, while I don't want to have 15 tool sets doing the same exact facet of security, you're still going to have incredible defense and depth. Yes. Sure. Right. right. And so, but, but what I will say is, if you have 10 sysadmins, and all you're doing is Windows 7, you can have three craftsmen, you know, three journeymen, and the rest are just newbies. Right. Right. But once you have like seven and Vista and Windows 8 and seven flavors of Unix, right. how many craftsmen do you have? Yeah, right. None. Right. Because everyone's playing whack-a-mole. Yeah, right. Right? So it's, it's really key to get that, how, how much, you know, to get some 